Hey guys, Jeremy here with Simple Little Life. Welcome to another edition of Tool Time Tuesday. This week, we're gonna take a look at an optical center punch. Before we get to that, let's check out some viewers' knives. The first knife we'll look at is sent to me from Orr, and Orr is a 16-year-old knife maker from Israel. He's made several knives before, and when he made this one, he wanted to put all the elements that he considers to be a good working knife. So that's really cool, thing, seeing how people think about their knives when they make them. I think this knife turned out really fantastic. It's got a really nice, sizable blade there, really great guard on the front of it there, and then he says for the wood, he didn't have anything special, so he just used what he called regular wood and put a burnt finish on it with a turbo torch. He says it thinks it looks great, and I have to agree. This is an excellent working knife, and like you said, or this looks very, very usable, very practical, very nice knife. Tim is a 37-year-old systems engineer from Nashville, Tennessee, and this knife he made using a lot of techniques that I've shared on my channel. He says it's been a huge help, so thank you for that, Tim. Uh, the steel he used is 3 16 thick 01 tool steel. He used quarter-inch thick G10 Coyote Brown for the scales with a white liner in there. He did most of the work with hand tools, including cut the shape with a hacksaw, and then he used a 4x32 belt sander to put in his bevels, and then hand sanded it and finished it up to 400 grit. To heat treat this blade, he used the technique that I shared in a previous series, uh, how to make knives with basic hand tools, and actually used one map gas torch and two propane torches. Kind of had them all going at the same time, and that's how he got his heat treating done. It works great if that's all you got, so very nicely done. I think the knife turned out very, very well. Tim, thanks for sharing. Excellent blade. And the last knife we'll look at is sent to me from James, and he's a 16-year-old knife maker from Milton, Ontario. He's been watching this channel for quite a few years. I appreciate that. Thank you, James. And uh, these are some pictures of some recent knives that he's made. I think these knives look absolutely really fantastic. Uh, very nice shape. I like how they all differ, and you're trying different shapes and sizes. So, James, keep up this excellent work. All right, thanks so much to you guys for sending your knives in. If you'd like to have your knife featured on this channel, just email me, jeremy at homesteadknives.com. We will get it featured. Please, please, please do email me. That's how I organize all the emails and all the knives. I can't really accept any submissions on Instagram or other social media. It's just too hard to kind of keep it all in order. So email me, jeremy at homesteadknives.com. We will get it featured. All right, what is an optical center punch? Well, let's head over to the workbench. We'll take a look. All right, it's an optical center punch. If you don't know, these are an incredibly handy tool for layout, for all different types of layout, for metal fabrication, woodworking, and it's actually very well suited for a knife maker. Uh, this particular model I have is made by Veritas, which is the house brand of Lee Valley, made in Canada here. And if you haven't checked out Lee Valley's website yet, it's totally, it's a great website. Uh, LeeValley.com, uh, I have no affiliation with them, I just buy a lot of, well, I don't buy as many tools from them as I would like, but I do buy some. So. This is an optical center punch. Now, there's a lot of different versions of them out there. This one is very, very simple. Essentially, it's this brass, uh, I don't know, weighted thing. Uh, you'll see it's got a little rubber O-ring in there. And uh, one thing I did notice is that when I first had this, I ha you have to make sure this O-ring is all the way down because when I got it, it kind of started poking itself out and obviously that could kind of skew uh, the way this works a little bit. But really simply, all it is is this thing, quite heavy, and it's got this, I'm not sure what it is, it's some type of a plastic and it's polished on the edge and actually on this end here, uh, you can't really see it too well, but there's little crosshairs. They're very, very fine. When you look through this way, sometimes they'll show up a little better. I'm actually gonna set up the camera and I'll show you what will get a really good shot of what you see when you're using this. So really all you're doing is say if you've got some layout, uh, you know what, for an example, I've got this knife right here. Uh, this is a template I just glued onto a piece of 01 tool steel. And if I wanna mark out those holes very precisely, you can also use it when you're scribing holes, you're marking actually on the metal or whatever material you're working on. Uh, but in this instance, I'm, I'm working from a drawing. I've got this glued to my steel and I wanna put a hole right in the center there. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing, I'll put this little, this little viewfinder thingy in here like this. And when you look down in there, you'll be able to line up exactly where those crosshairs go. The cool thing about this is this actually has eight times magnification so you get to see very precisely where it's going to be and essentially again I'm gonna I'm gonna switch up the camera so you can see exactly what happens uh, but you'll kind of get this laid out over your hole once you've got it there you just hold this in place you pull out this little optical piece and then it comes with a center punch and you'll slide that down it's a very nice precise fit as is the optical piece and then you'll simply bang tap your center hole and you get very very accurate marks so let me grab a different lens on the camera and uh, we'll kind of set this up so you can see exactly what's going on all right, well, it's probably kind of blurry right now, but I think once we put this little optical piece in here, it should become clear. What I'd like you to see is the crosshairs in there. Um, we're gonna have to kind of be careful where we line it up. Uh, there we go. So you can kind of see, I'm not sure if that's showing up. You see there's little crosshairs in there. I'll kind of spin this around so you see them moving. 
And uh, as you can tell, any slight movement, it really is exaggerated because of the eight times optical magnification. Uh, so really, we want to mark a hole right on that X. All we're gonna do is stick this on there. <laughs> kind of tricky doing this through the viewfinder of the camera. Let me bring it there or something like that. Um, yeah, and so we're kind of gonna line up those crosshairs just like that. Now, really, uh, essentially, the center of this hole that's in here is exactly on those crosshairs. So let's give this a test. Now, if I hold this down, pull this piece out, put in our punch. That was a good time to change the focus. We should have a hole right in the center. And that is pretty, pretty close. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna try this one, it's a little bit off, and I think that was because I was working through the viewfinder. So uh, let's set this here again, we'll put our little punch in there, we'll drop our little piece in here. Okay, and uh, again, I gotta really, really go crazy here with the focus. Standby. Okay, so this one here, I've actually lined up with my eyeball, like I'm, I'm actually gonna get right down on top Got that right lined up there. Again, we'll take out our little optical insert. We'll put in our punch. Oh, that one's really, really good. I might have to switch lenses again because this one does not like getting too close. But you can see that hole is nicely in the center of those crosshairs. This one's just out the slightest bit because uh, I was working through the viewfinder, but when I actually put my head right over it, that hole is pretty much dead nuts in the center of those crosshairs. With this lens on here, we can get a slightly closer look. Uh, that is pretty darn good. I mean, I, I don't know if I can get much better than that without using an optical center punch. And again, here's the first one. See, it's out just the slightest bit. It's not too bad, but again, that was because I was working through the camera's viewfinder, and this one I actually stuck my head right over it, got my eyeballs nice and close, and uh, really allows you to pop out very accurate holes. And again, if you wanted to take this, make it slightly bigger with, uh, with another center punch, you can do that. Uh, now, the way I'm going to be using this is just like I did here. Fairly light uh, taps. I'm not just going to be like smashing on this thing. Uh, I'm assuming that this is a hardened tip. I don't know too much about this or all the particulars on how it's manufactured. Um, but this particular kit, what is this? I think this is around 50 bucks if I remember correctly. And again, a lot of the optical center punches, you, you can get them on Amazon all over the place. A lot of them will look different than this. But just to give you the basic concept, uh, that's how they work. Really, really a slick little tool. And again, and for something like this, you can see how they're really, really handy for knife making or all different types, even woodworking, anything where you need to lay out very precise holes and you're trying to, to match existing intersection points and, and get a center punch right in the middle there. Uh, this is a very accurate and quite an easy way to do it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at an optical center punch. I'm really excited to have this tool in my arsenal, and I really have a feeling that I'm going to be using this a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and uh, click that little notification icon so you get a little notification every time a new video comes out. I uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Cheers. Cheers.